Hey everybody, welcome to day one of the new Golden Goblet. This time, we're playing Super NES games. I had a hand in the selection process. That's why we're here right now. I gotta say, Genesis, two victories. Two golds. NES, zero. That's not really a zero, but you get the idea. Zero victories. Five silvers. Five second places. Two thirds. No firsts. What a world. What a world we find ourselves in. Uh, Super Nintendo. This wasn't really the console of my youth. Really, like the PlayStation 1 and N64 were kind of the console of my youth, I'd say. But I got a better chance for sure. Day 1 is going to be Super Mario World. Not going to make too much progress in 15 minutes, I think. But then Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Super Soccer, most goals scored wins. Joe and Mac 2, Lost in the Tropics, Kirby's Dream Land 3, Brawl Brothers, and finishing off with Super Mario World 2. 15 minute timer, please. All right, we're going, boys. As much as I hate to skip the music. Yeah, okay, like, I'll tell you. This is a game I have played before in my life. Surprise, surprise. Welcome to Yoshi's level. This is Yoshi's world now. We're just living in it. I'm trying to figure out, hold on. How do you run? <laughs> I know, I, I literally just said... Yeah, yeah, I know, my name's Yoshi. I know I literally just said... You know, this is kind of my game. But I was like, it feels wrong. It doesn't feel right. They At one point, I don't know when it happened, but they really figured out how to make the controls in these games work. For a while, you were using, like, what appeared to be inverted buttons to... Well, from my perception, at least. Inverted buttons to jump versus running. Anyway, suffice to say, I'm probably alienating people by suggesting that there's uh, any problem with Super Mario World's controls. That wasn't really my intention. Um, so I'm not... We, we don't have a lot of time to mess around here. Super Mario World, to be quite frank, probably a little bit of an easier game than uh, Super Mario Brothers 1. So I think we pretty much just gotta yeet it straight ahead as fast as possible. I don't even know if we can get the Switch on the left side. This is one where I'm like, I think everybody's pretty much gonna gonna tie, so we want to be in there. This would be a great one to win, though. Because to be honest, when I selected the games... Oh my god. I didn't select games that, like, I had an advantage in. In fact, I selected stuff... Oh my god. I selected stuff, except for Super Mario World, and a little Yoshi's Island, and then, like, an hour of, uh, well, actually less than an hour of Super Ghouls and Ghosts recently. On the, like, a couple Tuesday streams ago. I haven't really played any of these, to be honest with you. Or at least, you know, if I played an hour, it was back in 1994, probably. Anyway. Suffice it to say, I didn't set it up. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not gonna set it up so that... You know, it all comes down to, uh, you know, a game that I've played for a hundred hours. Not calling any of my other content creators out necessarily. Ahem, ahem. But I really think, like... I hate to say it. Because it's... It's a big ask. Just to be straight up with you. But a successful Super Mario Brothers... Sorry, let me rephrase. A successful Super Mario World Golden Goblet for me would be zero deaths. The speed at which we get through the levels is like... It is what it is, you know? I, I can't really determine where we'll be. All, oh my god, I keep hitting the wrong jump button. <laughs> I can't really determine what level we're going to finish on. All I can really determine is... Uh, minimizing the amount of deaths like preferably had a feeling that was coming preferably if i could minimize them to zero that would be for the best i i know isn't there a secret on this level this would have been i i recognize my gamer cred is at an all-time low right here keep in mind of the six competitors in uh checkpoint league i just put down Oh, baby. The number one score! Me, Dan, Justin, Mathis, Bear Taffy, and Jasky. He's the sixth. I put down sight on scene with no practice, the highest score. Well, the, the furthest performance in, uh, in Mario Maker.
So if you're gonna crap talk me, buddy, if you're gonna crap talk me, just keep in mind exactly who you're freaking crapping on. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, speedrunners have ruined it for everybody else. You can't just be like half decent at these games anymore. Nowadays, if you're not... Oh, that was spicy. Nowadays, if you're not beating the whole game in 10 seconds, you know, nobody takes you seriously anymore. They'd... Oh, didn't you watch uh, Turkey Gamer's video on this? All throughout getting over it. Hey, you know, uh... Wow, you've been playing this for a couple hours? That's weird, because the world record speed run for this is only a minute and 38 seconds. Well, that's crazy. That's just absurd. Now that you've said it, let me play a little faster. Oh wait, I'm dead. Turns out it takes uh, thousands and thousands of hours of practice to get to the point where you can actually beat the game in an hour and a half, or in a minute and a half. They didn't really beat the game in a minute and a half. They beat the game in a uh, hundred hours uh, per week. For life. Please just die. I'm just being straight up with you, it's been a while since I played Super Mario World. The physics of the boss fighter throw me for a loop. <laughs> what the? Send them. Sandy's not being sent, dude! I'm getting so mind flooded. Okay, he's actually done it. I don't know what happened there. I got it. I got lost in the sauce. The pressure was starting to get to me. We're going to the Donut Plains, but I do not believe that we will actually have access to the cape. Can't remember. Oh, that was... My heart was pumping there, embarrassingly enough. Please, go faster. This is all well and good. This is all cute. This is bringing back a lot of nostalgic memories from my youth. At the same time, would it be possible, perhaps, perchance, for you to possibly move a little bit faster? I'd like to go to the Donut Plains. We only have 8 minutes and 51 seconds left. Look, I don't know if we're in first, but it's not like... We could be in third, but we're not, like, demonstrably... We're not getting our butt kicked in third. I will say, though, I'm like, dude, isn't there, like, a... There's a star road on this level? <laughs> I don't know if it would be resin. But if we can get to the star road... Oh, that was a big whiff. If you can get to that star road... Couldn't we progress, like, substantially further? Cementing us as the greatest Mario Maker... Or, sorry, the greatest Super Mario World player in Earth's history? Yeah, you don't try it, okay? You know what's amazing? Is that I can remember dying on, like, every single one of these levels as a kid. Multiple times. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, no, 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 no. My, my freaking... Oh, I don't think you can do it without the switch then. You gotta get the... Ooh. It's okay. Don't, don't ruin it. There's no need to ruin it. Just go, dude. You're right here. You're right here. You might have been able to do it. You might have been able to do it with the cape. I forget, the Switch is like in one of the first underground levels. I think it might be in this one right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that looks like a baseball glove. As a kid, I was always like, it's a baseball glove level. Might as well get the coins while we sit here. I really doubt uh, our one-up is gonna play a difference here. I do want to speak a little bit about Mario. Versus Mario Maker, because you might be like, NL, why are, why are you, you seem so unsure of your platforming in Mario versus uh, Mario Maker. Why is that, even though Apollo's using the Super Mario World control scheme? It's not, it, they don't control the same. I'm not going to say that the newer versions are more refined or whatever. I think it's just like... Thank you. Man, those bats, they never made another appearance for a reason, huh? Um... Goodbye. I think it's just that, uh, you know, he's a little heavier 
in this. And he's a little bit... I'm not going for the super secret key level, to be honest with you. Although, hold on. How much time do we have? <laughs> I think we're just going to play it honestly. I don't know if these guys have played enough Super Mario World to know the secret either. Might rather just go on our own merits. But uh, it, you're just going to take my word for it. It looks the same. Well, it doesn't really look the same. I mean, like, Mario Maker looks a little bit more high-res, but... Just crush it. I'm okay, I think. No. I will say, six-year-old me watching this would be like you're a god. Twelve-year-old me watching this right now would be like, why are you so bad? <laughs> no, why risk it? Why? There's no risk in it for the biscuit. You're okay there. You don't have to freak out. You can just wait it out. There's no rush. Get that final coin. I will say, I kind of feel like, and I'm not trying to take the wind out of your sails here early on Super Mario World. Oh, baby. But uh, I will say, I think Super Mario World, not quite the same level of intrigue as the Super Mario Brothers, but it had to be included. It's maybe like... I don't know, it's probably like one of the top five most popular Super Nintendo games. Might even be in the top three. Four minutes left? I bet we can beat Second Castle. The only thing is the ghost house. This probably won't surprise you. The ghost houses were always the bane of my existence because you have to find a, a special way uh, to beat them. Usually you have to find some kind of secret path. That's not really my strong suit in every situation. Was this... Dude, if this is... The muscle memory from nine-year-old me is at an extreme level. Oh my god. I shouldn't have gotten this though, because now we gotta play the freaking... Dang, 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 Whatever, dude, I'm going for it. Three, two. I can live with that. Dunka, dunka, dunk. Anyway, how much time we got? Three minutes, 39 seconds. Just go, just go, dude. We can beat the castle. He can be beaten. He can be felled. This is where things get spiced. They got moving platforms, you got coins, you got a different kind of moving platforms. I'm trying to counter jump my jumps a little bit too much, it's making me look like a dang fool. I don't remember what's in any of these, and to be honest with you, I don't care. In Mario, you're either comfortable in the air, or you aren't. And we are. Okay, prepare yourself. Good stuff. I have to think, I mean, let's be honest, you know, Three weeks ago now, we were doing pretty good stuff in the Slay the Spire dailies. Things have changed. And uh, two wins in the last 14 Golden Goblets. Not particularly strong, to put it... Uh... Ooh. Oh, whew. not particularly strong, to put it frankly. However, I will say, and you didn't hear it from me, a lot of the game selection process for the Genesis and NES, I wasn't really around for those consoles, you know? I mean, as I was alive when the Genesis came out, but I was always more of a SNES kid. And um, I wasn't really alive when, I mean, I was kind of alive when the NES was around, but like, sort of not really, you know what I mean? A lot of those games, people were like, I need this game to be in. I'm not saying it's unfair. It's just part of the selection process, you know? Some people like to leave it out in the field, and some people... <sighs> we're so lucky. Some people like to Bill Belichick it a little bit. I'm more of a leave it out on the field guy. It's not for everybody. That was pretty lucky. So basically what I'm saying is... I don't really know some of the games that we ended up playing. I wasn't really too familiar with them. But I'm familiar with this. But then even for like the games that I chose for this, most of them, uh, I have not actually really played at all. 
There are exceptions, and uh, Super Mario World is one for sure. Jumps are just like slightly off. Okay. Take this moment. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It's okay, 51 seconds, send me back. Send me back, we started the checkpoint. Don't freak out, buddy. Yo, she's here. My jumps are like all off right now. It's okay, one death, to be honest with you, not the end of the world. More than I would have liked. He doesn't get bodied like that. Come on, you just gotta get to the end. There you go, okay. We're at... 14 seconds. Go, 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 go! Every step forward that you could take towards Bowser's castle is gonna help you out a great deal here. Okay, let it be known we are in. At zero... We're at the, the shaded part of the bush. Yoshi, you can't come in. It's scary. Alright, we will we will play out this life right here. How do I think I did postmortem? I mean that one death was very Um It's the kind of thing that turns a, a gold into a silver, you know what I mean? For sure. But I think there's no reason to think we're not at least in the running here. I'm not really trying to, you know make the case that you know two silvers is better than a gold i don't want to be that guy who's like you know yeah i didn't do so well but on the other hand look at how many second places out of three people i got but you know although we got bodied pretty hard without a doubt in the especially the nes one like to get to win two out of seven is not that bad when we're talking about a field of three people you know on average, like, two people are gonna win two and one person's gonna win three, so... I'm not too upset by it. But zero out of seven, even with five second places, is like... That, that'll keep you up at night. Not really, like... You know, I sleep pretty soundly, for the most part. Because I'm doing my best and I'm, I'm trying to be entertaining. But as much as I hate to say it... I wouldn't bet against a, a dub, but I wouldn't bet on a dub. What I would do is give myself, I don't know, I, I would give myself like a, you know, around the industry standard. 33% uh, repeating, of course, to, to win today's. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> anyway, this is a great game. Once I got back into the controls of this game, you can't hold me down. So we got to the very entrance, the courtyard of Bowser's Castle. A respectable but could have been better effort. That I'll, I'll go away from this one hoping for a win, but realizing if I didn't get one, I left some points on the board. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Watch Malf and Dan's perspectives. I hope you're rooting for your boy Eggman. I'm on the screen twice. Once here and once you see in the video frame. That's me. Thank you. We're on a wave in 2020. Subscribe is the best way to support me. It's free. What do you get for it? You get to know when my videos come out. You get to be part of the Lion Pride. You get to contribute to subscriber milestones that are coming up. And of course, if you like the video, like the video. It helps us know that you like what you watch. We'll make more of it in the future. For now, though, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. See ya!